Did you know? The title of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure actually wasn't inspired by the Beatles song, Get Back. The origin of this idea comes from the fact that Joseph Joestar, one of the main protagonists in the JoJo franchise, can be seen listening to Get Back by the Beatles in his Walkman in the manga. While many fans believe this is due to the lyrics of the song and Araki's well-known love for Western singers and bands, Araki himself has refuted it. In a video interview, Araki stated that the name Jojo came from when he would hold meetings with his editor at a local family restaurant. The name of the restaurant itself was called Jonathan's. Based on this, they were going to incorporate Jonathan into the title, and Araki wanted something catchy, with one letter being the same for both the first and last names, taking from how Steven Spielberg has two S's. So Araki decided on Joestar for the last name, and that's how both Jonathan Joestar and the title of the series got their name. Did you know? Hirohiko Araki predicted 9-11? Well, not really. Boingo, part of the Oingo Boingo duo of antagonists in Stardust Crusaders, has the ability to tell the future through his manga. On a particular page written in 1990, he foretold that a man he had met wearing a 911 shirt would end up dead on a pole. While this doesn't necessarily scream that Araki had future sight to such a tragic event, the inclusion of a jumbo jet plane with an insidious face flying over another pole, and the inclusion of a moon which is positioned in much the same way as many Muslim organizational flags, had some thinking otherwise. Araki has dismissed it by saying that he didn't know why he drew it in that way, but subsequently, the 911 was removed from the person's shirt in the 2014 anime adaptation. While JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is no stranger to controversy, some of the controversy stems from not what it did, but what it inspired. In 1997, Antarctic Press published a supernatural fighting comic by Joe Weltjens called Diesel. And like many unfortunate authors, Weltjens only had one issue published. What makes Diesel so unique or rather, just the opposite, is how it directly lifts from Jojo, in particular Part 3, Stardust Crusaders. Just the premise itself is the same. A group of powerful characters, literally called stand users, use temporal projections unique to each individual. Many of the antagonists and stands are directly lifted, with a blind stand user who uses a staff and controls blood, mirroring the character Endul, who uses a water stand. Most of the first comic is a forced version of Jojo's gang going against Endul, with the force itself being introduced in much the same way that Kakyoin introduces himself on the stone steps. Naturally, the main antagonist is a spitting image of Dio Brando, a super wealthy stand user who lives in a lavish home that would remind any reader of Jonathan and Dio's original home from Phantom Blood. Even with all these similarities in the fine print of the comic it reads, no similarity to any characters and or places is intended, and any similarity is purely coincidental. Despite JoJo's Bizarre Adventure having an extremely large Japanese fan base and a huge cult following among internet fans, JoJo wasn't always so popular. In fact, at one point in America, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was being turned away. According to Anime News Network's Jason Thompson, Capcom USA was very dissatisfied with how JoJo's Venture was doing. So much so that Thompson was told by a Capcom employee that unless Capcom Japan forced them to, the game would not be released on the US video game market. Speaking of alternate names, at one point the manga wasn't even going to be called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure in the United States. Though Viz would end up releasing Stardust Crusaders, the original plan for it was to run monthly and be called The Strange Adventures of JoJo. But as Thompson explained in the previous article, the commercial failure of Araki's prior manga, Bao, in the US, coupled with the collapsing of the floppies monthly market, would delay JoJo from being released proper. On the subject of JoJo not being released proper, not everything in the world of JoJo saw the light of day. Many fans know of Studio APPP's Phantom Blood movie, but the studio was also going to do an adaptation of Battle Tendency. Currently, all that exists of the adaptation is a number of storyboards from various key points in the story. While it's not particularly clear whether it was going to be a full-fledged series or a condensed movie version of the manga like Phantom Blood was, the scenes numbered in the storyboard are close to that of the Phantom Blood ones, implying that it was going to be a movie. Ultimately, the failure of Phantom Blood at the box office, as well as Araki's unfavorable opinion towards the movie, are what got the project canceled. Thanks for watching. We're Did You Know Anime, the anime trivia resource. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all the latest facts and trivia.
I'm Brennan Williams, also known as the Great Black Otaku, also known as the Shogun of the Reality of Wrestling, Marcellus Black. If you want to see anime made real in a wrestling ring, follow me on Twitter at Great Black Otaku and check me out on Reality of Wrestling's YouTube channel.